Hey guys, how's it going? Eddie here, Cornhole Bag Reviews, back again with the Cornhole Vlog with Wally K9 in the background. But uh, we're here down at the ACL Open in Iowa for ACL Open number nine, I believe. Last night was the Pro-Am. Uh, we did some commentary, hung out there. But today, we got open doubles. So it's nice and early in the morning. I'm playing with uh, Brianna Close today, which is one of Wally's sponsored K9 players. Uh, she throws bag daddies. So probably be throwing her faster bag daddies today. But either way, it's going to be fun. I don't know if they're doing four or six rounds of rounders today because we got, we're got we getting kicked out of the venue pretty early. Either way, get some games in. We'll do at least four rounds of rounders into bracket. And then probably do some commentary, hang out with them. There's a bunch of good pros here. It'll be a good time overall. So show you guys when you get in the venue. It's a pretty cool venue in the Northern Iowa University uh, basketball court and stuff. It's pretty cool uh, for a trade show and stuff. But either way, hopefully we throw way better today than yesterday because we threw awful. So you guys will not see that gameplay. But uh, today you'll see the gameplay. So I'll check in with you guys when I get out to the venue. Like the amazing vlogger I am, I totally forgot to film like any B-roll or walk around. So we're just going to jump right into Rounders Game 1. Our opponent starts with the first bag off the back right. This is the first round, and I convinced Brianna to throw my Costellos. You guys know I love these things, at least for this first game. But after a nice blocker on bag three, Brianna pushes through it nicely. Her being experienced with fast bags definitely helps in this scenario, but in to start with a five ends up a little off to the right. But still, first round, first game, getting that out of the way with a nice three points is a great way to start. So my first round of scoring, we are up five to four. I start with my first bag in the hole and my opponent answers with this bag slightly off to the right. So I go for the nice sneak around and hit it and he's able to follow. So sitting up two points after two bags, but I give it back to him off the right, but then he actually goes off the back. I finish up for my 10 and he's able to follow for his seven, but three points, we take the lead eight to four. The score is now nine to six a couple rounds later, and they have first bag. This is going to be kind of the style of today, which is missed opportunities. Uh, the first bag they throw is off the right, and Bree's able to go up the middle and in. And the second bag is a nice little block. Bree has a great block behind, forcing him to either go through or airmail or block behind himself. And when he misses off the right, the right shot here is to just to push everything through. She pushes a great shot. His bag is going to fall and ours will be hanging in the hole. So score currently sitting five on four. And when he fails to block behind, a big push could net a seven point round here. So Bree lines up for the big push and ends up throwing it a little off to the right and none of the bags go. So it's still a six on five. We get a point to make the game 10 on six, but could have been a big round. After I wash on tens, score is still 10 on six. Bree's got the first bag. She starts here with the first bag, nicely up the middle and in. Uh, these Costellos really fit her speed range well. So if I could pick up my end of the bargain, but he throws a nice blocker and Bree with a beautiful push through shot here. Keeping the pressure on her opponent. And when he goes off the right here, opportunity for at least a three point round. Bree keeping the pressure on in for the nine after three bags, and when his bag goes off to the left, it's in to guarantee herself a five. She cleans up the four bagger, and he must go in just to limit the damage. He's able to go in for a seven, but that's a five spot. We take the lead 15 to six. After I wash and Bree gives up a one, it's now 15 to seven. They have first bag. He starts with his first bag off to the right. So opportunity for points here as I slide up my first bag up the middle. He answers but I'm able to keep the pressure on with my second bag up the middle as well. When his third bag's off the right, I should have taken an extra second here to aim. I end up missing off the right, but I knock one of his bags off, and he's unable to finish. You know, if this was me nowadays, I'd probably shoot the airmail, but I go for the left to right cut. I grab the edge of the hole, but it doesn't fall, but it's still an eight on five to get three more points, so we go up 18 to seven. The very next round, we do what we're not supposed to do with the big lead, which is give back momentum. When Bree goes off the right with the first bag, door open for her opponent, and he starts with his first bag nicely up the middle and in. They are throwing black waters, and her opponent's throwing fast side only, so super hole friendly. Her second bag off to the left, so down five points now after her opponent slides in the second bag. Able to make the third bag in to start to stymie some momentum. He keeps the pressure on by laying a nice block, forcing Bree to either go around or go through. She tries to go around the left side, jams it up a little from behind. So he can push through here for a seven, 
He lines up with his fast side and is able to push them through nicely for the 12 on five to get them seven points. So the game is now 18 to 14. After me and my opponent have a four bag wash, bags are back down on their end, score still 18 to 14. Her opponent starts with his first bag as a short little right block, so she could bully this out of the way, but she sneaks in nicely. His bag is hanging on fast side on the hole, so that's basically in. And when he slides up, he pulls both of them with. So with Bree going in on her second bag almost, it's basically in. The score is six to four, but that bag will fall with any touch, and there it goes. Third bag in for her opponent, and Bree's able to sneak in her third bag as well. Her opponent with his last bag to finish up the four bagger, and he does for his second straight four bagger. And she misses it off the back for a three point round, so they have the score now 18 to 17. The very next round, he has first bag and starts nicely up the middle, and it's my turn to start making mistakes. But I make my first one up the middle, he keeps the pressure on, and I throw one off the back. So, have to be perfect here to prevent myself from giving away the game. He hangs his third bag on the left side of the hole and I knock it in for him. So if he sneaks in here, he forces me to airmail drag. He makes up his four bagger and I have to airmail drag just to keep the game going. And I hit the backside of the hole and give up a 12 on five, seven to lose the game 21 to 18. All right, we just finished game one of bracket. We lost 21 to 18. We choked. Yep. We yep. both choked. She gave up we one big guys. round and then and then they got all the momentum back and then we we lost. So we just sucked. But, but that's at okay. The end, but the whole game we played good. It's just at the end. We did play really good the whole game. So I would say we get to play an 01 team now, so now we have no 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 uh, excuses, right? Yep. But we might yep. switch to her bags next game, try something else out. But catching you guys after game two. For game two of rounders, we got moved over to the other section of boards by the stream court. But we're against another 0-1 team. They're throwing game changer steadies. We decided to stay with my Costellos. With his first bag off the back left and Bree putting that nice blocker up, good chance for points here to start the game. Bree pushes through nicely to go up 6-2 to two after two bags. When she goes in the third bag, she's up 9-5. to five. And when he misses his fourth bag off the right side of the board, Bree's able to finish up her four bagger for a nice 12 to five first round. So we start the game up seven to zero. After I give up a two, we're now up seven to two. They have first bag and he starts with his first bag off the left side. These boards are playing probably two times as slow as the boards upstairs. So definitely an adjustment period. He rolls in his second bag and Bree clogs up the left side a little bit. When he misses off the left though, Bree takes one little step out here, goes for a little collect her bag naturally going left to right and she grabs it very nicely and when he misses his last bag short she asked me do you want me to go for the airmail or just slide in and get points and i said if you're feeling it shoot it we're already up seven to two so she decides to go up for the airmail drag attempt misses it a little bit off to the left but knocks him off the board so it's still an eight on four round we go up 11 to two after a bunch of rounds it's now 19 to three we're up not a lot of interesting rounds to show this game and i didn't really do anything interesting so brie kind of had all the big rounds but we're up 19 to 3. She starts with her first bag in. So four bagger wins it. She stays consistently up the middle. And when he's off the side, Bree's just gotta stay up the middle of the board. She makes her third bag sitting at plus eight. And in the hole here, she finishes up her four bagger. And he just throws it on the ground. So it's a 12 on one at the very end there. So we win this game 21 to 3. Alright guys, so we finished game two of bracket. We shot a lot better that game. I think Bree over there. I think Bree literally missed one bag the entire game. So we got on the other area of the. Uh, so they have two areas for courts. We're like where the stream court is, but we won the game 29 to three. Definitely an easier game. I still shot like ass, but Bree just scored like a million points. So he better pick it up because we're throwing his bags. <laughs> See, she's using that as an excuse because then when she throws bad, she's like, "Well, they were my bags," you know? No, no, but it's all right. Good to get a win. So we'll play a one and one team next. Uh, I hopefully we'll get five games at least because we're gonna need we're gonna need to win the next four So we'll catch up you guys after game three in game three. We start up with a 3-0 lead And I just chucked my first one right off the back This game is a pretty tough one for me to post about I struggled a ton in this game It was kind of nerves. I was aiming every single bag uh, Just really didn't feel comfortable at all in this game, but threw my first one off the back He threw a nice block. I missed off to the left and he cleaned it up. So he's sitting plus five I'm able to make in my third bag and when he misses his third off the side and I'm able to sneak in just to only give up a three here for a 10 on seven, but it is a 
tied game at 3-3. After three straight washes, then Bree gave up a two. We're now down 5-3. My opponent has first bag. He starts with his first one nicely up the middle, and I'm able to answer. He's been pretty consistent this whole game. He's only missed like one or two bags. I give him one off the back right, and he keeps the pressure on, and then I give him a lane off the left. He goes in for the four bagger. I need to go in just to limit the damage to four, and I pull it off the left again. So I give up a 12 on six for another six points. We go down 11 to three. A couple rounds later, we're now down 18 to three. They have first bag, and me and my opponent are actually talking about how nerve-wracking these big tournaments are and how you really don't know what it's like until you come play, and he's like, yeah, I've just played in so many of them at this point. You start to get used to the nerves, but I'm definitely feeling them. He throws his bag off the front left, giving me a bumper, which my mist has been left all day, so that bumper kind of helps me a good amount. He slides in his second bag. I'm able to follow. He uses his bumper nicely for the third bag. I sneak in the right side, and when he throws his last bag, a little off the left gives me a little room on the right to slide in for the 12 on 8. Good redeeming round. Get four points, and we're down 18 to 7. The very next round, Bree's got first bag, and she starts with her first one nicely up the middle. Boards are so fast down here, there's not a lot of blocking going on. Even these surefires are sliding up the board pretty quick. Bree in with her second bag as well. Robbie's able to follow, now pretty locked in. And when Bree goes off the back with her third bag, Robbie can go in with the four bagger to win the game. He slides in the third. Bree needs to go in just to force Robbie to make his last bag. She sneaks the last one in, and Robbie's able to finish up the four bagger for a 12 on nine for three points. So we lose the game 21 to seven. All right, so we finished game three. These events are hard. I'm just struggling. Um, you know, it's my first big ACL event and I can feel every single bag I'm aiming, every single bag, like nothing feels natural. I'm just so like, because of that, I have low spin, everything's kicking on me. And it's just like, and then I get down on myself because I feel like I'm letting my partner down and letting myself down. Uh, we lost like 21 to 10 or eight or something. I have no idea what my PPR was. I had one four bagger, it's just, I could just feel it. It's, it's the problem is it's like the game ends and then I instantly like 10, 10, 12, 10, 10, airmail, airmail. It's just like, it's just like, okay, because I finally deep exhale or something and stop worrying about the fact that I'm sucking. Uh, I just, I don't know. I don't know if I'm afraid to just let my partner down. It's just, it's really hard. It happened to me last night in the Pro-Am too. I just like was so nervous or something. I just was so afraid to mess up that I wasn't throwing the bag anymore. And I play so much better when I'm just like in a rhythm, just throwing. Um, Hopefully I try to get in the rhythm next game. I, I, I'm trying to get out of my own head, but that's why these events are so important. You really have to just get the reps in and do it. Um, it's really hard to do, to be honest. Uh, I haven't played something this much pressure, so I'm trying to get it out of my system. Hopefully I can get it out of it last game, or at least when we get to bracket. Uh, a little disappointed, or very disappointed is what I would say, in the way that I've been throwing. Trying my best to get out of it, but it's just, it's just a hard mental thing to break. So catch with you guys after game four. As we move on to Rounders Game 4, we actually play against two Minnesota locals that I play against in my blind draws sometimes. But uh, he starts with his first bag up the middle and in, and Bree's first bag is short right. A tough blocker for him to deal with. We did switch to Bree's rejects after throwing my Costellos for two games and Surefires for a game. Uh, we just need to pick a bag that we're comfortable with, and uh, she's been throwing pretty well, so I said I would just throw her bags as I've been the one struggling. So... With this nice airmail over the top, they're now up seven to two after he throws his third bag. She asked me if I should if she should push it, and I said, if you think you can push that up, it's definitely possible. She misses the push a little bit to the right. Now laying seven to three. But when he goes up for his last airmail, luckily he misses off the side. So opportunity for either a big push or an airmail here to only give up one. She asked me which she should do. I said the airmail is wide open. If you think you could push that all the way up, you can do that as well. She decides on trying to shoot the airmail here. And she ends up going a little bit off to the left of the hole. So it's a seven on three round to start the game. We're down four to zero. After I give up one point, 10 on nine, we're now down five to zero. They still have first bag. He starts with this first one off the left, giving Bree an opportunity for points here. She ends up following him off the left as well. So both those bags are pretty dead. He's able to make in his second bag, and Bree's second bag sticks up the left side. Still collectible with a step up push, but definitely gonna be a little bit more difficult. Bree's bags are very, very quick though, but a great jam up bag there. Bree decides not to step out and tries to just clean these up with a straight up the middle push and ends up going a little to the right, knocking him in and leaving her three bags sitting on. So currently sitting as a seven on three. His last bag, he goes for a block right behind. She says, I'm going to go airmail. I said, yep, you got to hit it. So she goes up. 
for the airmail again, the second straight round. And this one's a little bit short right, ends up knocking her bag off the back. So that's going to be an eight on two for another six points. So now we're down 11 to zero. Here's another round on the theme of missed opportunities for me here. The very next round, he starts with this first one as a nice block, and I hit a nice little push in replace, taking over middle control. And then when he goes off the left side, opportunity for three points here, and I immediately go for the push through and miss off to the left. So already sacrificing two points with that bag. Then he goes front board. So I have a bumper, and I still miss off to the left. And then he misses his left one off the hole, and then I'm going for the airmail drag and pushing them off the back. So we had three bags off the board, and I only get a five on three round for two points, but now we're down 11 to two. Three runs later, we're now down 16 to three when he starts with his first bag a little off to the right, and I'm able to slide one up the middle. He follows using his bumper, and I continue. These bags are a little bit quick for me. I've basically been in the hole or off the back. I'm unable to throw blocks, and that's shown here with another missed opportunity sliding off the back. You just see how disappointed I am. But when he misses, his last one off to the left gives me a channel. I'm able to make it my last bag for a 9-8. to eight. Get us back to first bag, but we're down 16-4. to four. Three runs later, we're now down 19 to five. Breeze got first bag, and she starts with her first one, bouncing a little bit off to the right. So four bagger wins it here for her opponent. He starts with his first bag up the middle. She's able to answer. Her bag's kicking just a tad right on her, but when he hangs the second bag on the hole, she's able to sneak around super nicely. He cleans up here for the nine, so Bree has to be in. And when she misses a little bit off the left side, just has to be on the board. And he puts it on the board for the 10 on eight round to get two points. We lose the game 21 to five. All right, well, we just played game four, and uh, we lost again. <laughs> played against some local guys. Just couldn't, uh, Bree couldn't get it going that game. We switched to her bags. I actually been throwing a little better. I had I had one beer. I broke my rule, but, it, man, it didn't help. It just, I just had to call my nerves just a tad. I was just so in my head. So I threw a little bit better that game, uh, but whatever. So we're one and three, but I guess we get to play six games now. So... Whatever, we'll try to win the next couple. We'll probably be in like tier three, but you know, it's just, it's it's the experience here. This is all experience, because holy mackerel is it for, I mean, look at, look at all the courts. I mean, we got, there's like, in this room alone, there's 200 players, so. A lot of really good players, too, a lot of pros. So, really, really fun, but I'll catch you guys after game five. Coming into game five of rounders, we start the game up one to zero. I got first bag and slide up the middle nicely. I've been outside most of the day today because Bree doesn't want to do the scoreboards, so which just worked out that way. But when he throws a blocker, I go for the block behind. He blocks behind again. I go up for the airmail, hit the hole, but then end up hanging on the back. He misses his airmail. I immediately, no hesitation, go again and hit the nice airmail drag. So I'm currently sitting 10 on two. He's going to go up again for another airmail and ends up missing off the back. So nice 10 on two round there. Get eight points. Put us up nine to zero. After Bree gets two, we're now up 11 to zero. I got first bag and missed that one off to the left. Uncollectible. He is able to slide in his first bag. So down two going into the second bag. And I'm able to sneak that one in the right side. He misses a little off to the left and then I immediately just chuck it off the side. He throws a really good collect here left to right with the shape of his bag. So he's sitting up nine to four. And when I leave that one short, I only have a five point round. He could sneak around or airmail. For seven, ends up throwing it off the side, but still a nine on five round. They get four points back, so now we're up 11 to four. The very next round, they got first bag, and he stays on his consistent train, sliding it nicely up the middle. Bree then actually has her first one drill the front board, so down three going into the second bag, and he throws a really nice block. Bree trying to push through, ends up missing off the left, so knocks him a little bit closer, and he pushes and replaces nicely. Bree's able to knock him in the third bag, that one hanging on the hole, probably going to fall with any contact. He goes to try to block behind, ends up tapping her in. So Bree can go in here just to limit it to three, but misses it a little off the left. So 10 on five for another five points. Now we're only up 11 to nine. After I get a three and Bree gets a two, we're up 16 to nine. She has first bag and ends up throwing it off the left side. And he throws a really nice level two blocker, forcing Bree to push through, but she misses off the left again giving him a little bit of a bumper for this push, and he pushes and replaces beautifully, forcing Bree to step out and possibly try to grab everything. Ends up pushing through nicely, opening up the board, but that bag is dead off the left. 
He sneaks in his third bag, and Bree needs to go in just to limit the damage. But when she lays on, she finishes up with a five, and his partner calls for him just to board it to give him five points. So after a brief second, he's able to board it for the 10 on five for five more points. So now we're up 16 to 14. The very next round, my opponent has first bag and throws his first one off the left side. So opportunity here for points when I'm able to slide my first bag in. Second bag ends up short left, giving me a around opportunity, which I sneak around the side. He's able to hit an airmail here on his third bag. All I can do is stay up the board and I flip and throw it off the right side. Really disappointed in myself. He lays on the board, so opportunity here for four points. I finish it up for the four-point round. So we go up 22-14, and Bree's able to get the single point the next round to finish off the game 21-14. to All right, we just finished game five. Hey, I'm not ass anymore. No, you're not. I'm not, but she's ass. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we, we, we won a game. We won the game 25-14, so we're two and three now going into the last game. Hopefully we can end up three and three. But we're throwing her bags. I'm throwing them better. Uh, I just stopped. I got to stop carrying so much. I think I think I was just carrying too much. Now I'm just loosened up. I hit a nice, like, air mill that sat on the hole into an air mill drag, get an early eight. Uh, they made a bit of a comeback, but, you know, we were able to polish it off at the end. Uh, so good to get a win. It feels good to get a win, but, you know, Hopefully we could pick it up game six. I don't know what tier we'll end up in, two or three, something like that. Either way, it feels good to get better going into bracket, hopefully. So we got one more game, and then we'll go into bracket. So I'll catch you guys after game six. We're going to pick up in game six when we're up three to zero. I started with my first bag, launched, meshed it right off the back, and he's able to throw his first one a little short right, give me a cut around, and I mesh the second one right off the back. He sneaks in his second bag. I'm pretty down on myself if I'm missing the first two, but I'm able to make in my third bag. He follows me out the middle using the bumper. I finish up for my six, and he can sneak in here for four points, which he does. That's a 10 on six, so the lead changes. They're now up four to three. After Bree gets two, we're now up five to four. I got first bag, and I miss short right, trying to go for a block. He takes a reset here. Tries to use my bag as a bumper, but ends up giving it back to me off the right. I'm able to make in my second bag, keeping the pressure on him. And he follows me up the middle. I use my third bag as well to slide up. And when he misses his fourth one a little short, I go for the smart shot and just jam them all up. So sitting plus three right now, he needs to either airmail or sneak around to wash out the round and misses a little off the left. So we end up getting an eight on five round for three. We take the lead eight to four. Very next round, Bree's got first bag. Starts with her first one. Up the middle is a very nice blocker. Her opponent then tries to deal with the blocker, but ends up missing a little off to the left, giving Bree a lane to push here. She ends up jamming them all up in the middle, but takes full hole control. And uh, I don't agree with this shot here, but he immediately goes up for the airmail. Misses a little bit off the back. I think he should have just blocked behind and prevented Bree from pushing through. She goes to the push through, ends up knocking one in and missing off to the left, but her blocker still stands in place. He tries to block up the middle again, but again kicks a little bit off the left. So Bree, with her bag as a natural left or right cut, this is a tough collect, but throws a really nice grab off the right side to finish with a 10, and he's unable to get in the hole. So that's a 10 on three round for seven. We take the lead 15 to four. Very next round, I got first bag. And I actually have a round that looks like I know what I'm doing. I throw the first one as a nice little block. He cleans it up with a nice push through. I'm able to slide in my second bag. Again, with this fast of bags, I really shouldn't be missing the hole too much unless it's just a complete whiff. So I'm able to make in my third bag. But it what feels like the first in forever, I'm able to finally finish up a four bagger. He misses his last one off to the right. So we take the lead up 17 to four. After Bree scores two and I score one, we're now up 20 to four. Bree's got first bag, starts with it nicely up the middle. She's really starting to get a rhythm towards the end of this game here now, which is going to be good leading into bracket. His first bag is a little blocker off the right side and Bree sneaks around it really nicely. He goes to clean them up here and does well, so they're both in with their first two bags. Bree up the middle with the third bag. They can't afford a miss with us sitting at 20 and he misses off the right. Bree's able to finish up the four bagger and he has to try to grab this somehow to keep the game going. He sneaks in for the 10, but that's going to be two points. So we win the game at 22 to four. 
All right, we just finished game six. Uh, we won that one. We finally both were on in the same game. We both threw really, really well that game, probably each over a nine. I'd have to look at the stats. But uh, we won that one 22 to five, I think, something like that, 22 to four. So we made three and three. We'll probably make tier two with three and three. So uh, hopefully we can keep the positive juices flowing into bracket. You know, that's where you want them to start making a run is uh, tier two brackets. Hopefully we can uh, beat some good teams and take some people down. But catch with you guys after game one of bracket. Now after finishing um, rounders, we get seeded into tier two bracket. So in the very first round of our first game of uh, tier two bracket, Bree starts with her first one in the hole. And the person she's shooting against, they're throwing Reynolds Typhoons a little bit stickier. We're throwing Bree's Rejects here. Super fast bag around like a seven, nine. Um, these are the bags that she's super comfortable with. So we're getting used to them. Towards the end of rounders, we figured we use them in bracket. He pushes through to take hole control and Bree's able to take both in to start off the first round with a four bagger. When his last one slides off the back, she gets us a nice five to zero lead to start the game. After my partner and I have a wash, we're still at five to zero. Bree's got first bag into round two. She starts with her first one a little bit off to the left, giving herself a bumper, but he bullies it out of the way pretty nicely. She uses it, puts it in front of the hole and he's able to push through again. Bree continues the theme of the round by missing a little bit off to the left. Her opponent kind of gives it back with one off as well. Bree really needs to go in here to limit damage, but finishes her last one off to the left as well. And then her opponent hits a really nice air mill here for a 10 on 6 to get him 4 points back, so the game's now 5 to 4. The very next round, I get myself on the board here. Get a little bit of the nerves out of the way too, but he starts with his first bag up the middle and end, and I'm able to answer. His second bag, again, right up the middle. Throwing these fast bags, I don't foresee myself throwing a lot of blocks today. Uh, boards are playing pretty slow, but just need to consistently stay up the board. He misses one off to the left. I'm able to sneak in the right side when his last bag drips in. I'm able to slide my last one in the side as well for a nice little four-bagger. Get a 12 on 10, get us two points, take the lead 7-4, to four, and get the nerves out getting my first four-bagger in. The very next round, Bree's got first bag. She starts pretty consistent here, right up the middle. And then her opponent actually ends up throwing his first one off to the left, sneaking around the back. So completely out of play. Bree takes advantage, gets her second bag in. When her opponent misses his second bag, big opportunity here for a big round. Bree stays up the middle. Her opponent's still unable to get up there even with the fast side. So Bree can go in to guarantee herself basically six. She sneaks off to the left, which isn't the worst bag, forcing him to go up for the airmail. And he hits a lot of the hole and actually ends up, we sit here and wait for it. You can see it slowly start to move and ends up falling down and in. But it's the 10 on six round, get us four more points. We take the lead 11 to four. After I wash my last round, we're back on Bree, still up 11 to four. Her first one, she hits the dead spot on the front edge of the board and her opponent's able to sneak around it nicely up the middle. Bree kind of gets lost by her other bag there and follows it off to the left. Her opponent immediately goes airmail and hits it super clean. Bree trying to stay up the middle, still misses a little off to the left. And after a second clean airmail, it's looking like a lot of points down nine to three. She asked me if I should, if she should shoot it. I say she can either shoot it or step out and slide. She doesn't like the step out and slide call, so I tell her to just go for it. Then she goes for the airmail. And hits it nicely. So huge shot there. He goes for his third air mill in a row and barely misses it off the back right corner. But still a 10 on 6 round. They get 4 points back. Scores now 11 to 8. After I get 1 point on a 10 on 9, Bree's got first bag now. Starts with her first one a little bit off to the right. So ungrabbable there. And her opponent's able to slide it nicely up the middle. Second one over cavitates a bit off to the back left. Her opponent keeps the pressure on. Now sitting plus 4 after 2 bags. He's able to get it back nicely up the middle in the third bag. He answers. And on the fourth bag here, she misses a tad off to the left, actually knocks hers off the back. But we get very fortunate here as he doesn't finish up the four bagger. It's still a 10 on five for five, but could have been seven. Scores now 13 to 12. We're down. After I give up one point, we're now down 14 to 12. The opponent starts with the first bag nicely up and in the hole. Bree's first bag ends up going a little bit off to the left. So opportunity for points here when he goes in with his second bag. Bree continues a little bit off to the left. Thankfully, her opponent gives her one back, so can limit the damage to only two here. Is able to sneak in her third bag. 
then her opponent steps out and throws a really nice left to right cut grab with the fast side and uh, me and Bree have a conversation here she says how many do I get if they lay on I say two I say or you could just throw it to me and we'll give up three She's like, well, I'm not going to go in and give him up four. And, I, and I'm like, you, you should just give me the bag because I'm pretty sure it's probably going to fall in if she hits the board here. So here's an opportunity where you can really just it, – it's better to just throw the bag away. She ends up giving me the bag. I slam it on the board, and both his bags fall. So they would have fell if she would have hit the board. So we end up giving up three on the round. We're down 17 to 12. Very next round, my opponent's got first bag. My opponent's been pretty consistent this whole game. Sliding nicely up the middle. He starts again with one up the middle, and I'm able to answer – but he hasn't given me a lot of leeway, not a lot of blocks this game. He's been throwing fast side, slides up a second bag, and I actually miss my second one off the back right of the board. So I cannot afford any more misses because I can't give up four. He makes in his third bag. I'm able to answer. And when he finishes up his four bagger, I have to go in here to continue the match. I'm able to make my last bag for the 12 on 10, but I give up two points. We're now down 19 to 12. This round shows just how hard it is to close out games in a tournament this big, but my opponent starts out the first bag off the back right, and Bree's able to get up in the middle. He continues. You can tell like his bag is kicking a little bit because he's short-arming it. Could be nerves just trying to aim right now instead of throw it. See so short left on the third bag. Bree's able to bounce around again. He finally switches over to fast side and actually throws it how he was before. He's able to finish in for the six, but Bree can sneak in here which she bounces in for the 12 on six for six big points. The score is now 19 to 18. After Bree gets to those huge points, I start with my first bag nicely up the middle. I'm finally able to put pressure on my opponent. He's been consistent with the first bag, but he misses his second one or first one off to the front right. I'm able to sneak in my second one. His second one jumps to him off the left, and I'm just rapid firing these things up the middle. Now up nine to one on the round. He's able to make his last bag in, but I finish up my four bagger and let out a big come on as we as we complete the big comeback. Even if he hits the nice collect here, it would still be a 12 on nine for the three we need. Ends up being a 12 on four for an eight spot at the end for to complete the big comeback win in game one of bracket. We just finished game one of bracket. What happened? Tell him what happened. What happened? All right, so we went. <laughs> we were winning early. We gave up big rounds. We were down, I don't know, 19 to 12. She got a six spot, and then I followed up four bag to win. So it was a good comeback. It would have been sad to lose that one because we were definitely shooting better, and then we just had a couple terrible rounds. But other yep. than that, it was going totally fine. This guy made tier one. What up? Congrats. Thank you. How, how are you guys playing all day? Throwing crossovers all day? Yeah. Are they not too sticky? I like how they're playing. You're whipping them, so yeah. like you I throw like them. How, I like how they throw. Them. Yeah. Well, are you fast side much? On a on a push if I need to, but okay. I will push with slow. Are side. you rolling or just sliding? Uh, sliding. I'm not mail? much of a roller. Yeah. Slide airmail. My airmail felt pretty good. But yeah, so tough competition. Even yeah. with not that many pros here, everyone's throwing oh, pretty yeah. good. Yeah. There's a lot of really good teams. So, yeah. all right, well, we'll keep it going. We'll catch some of you guys after game two of bracket. We catch up into game two of bracket. We're up two to zero after Bree gets two in the first round and my first bag's able to sneak in off the right. We're throwing against Butters this game. They're definitely playing a little slower, but these opponents throw it a little bit harder. Looking at myself on video, my shot is really forward tilted right now, but I'm able to hit a nice little cut around there after he misses his bag off to the left. He's able to sneak around the side. I go for one last cut and actually barely miss it off the back right so opportunity here for him to get points with the fast side and he's able to miss off the left but knocks one of his in for a 10 on 8 round to tie the game up 2 to 2. After Brie gives up a 3 we're now down 5 to 2 they have first bag and he misses his first one off to the right I'm able to sneak around it now sitting up plus 2 after the first bag He's able to make in his second one, and our goal here with these fast bags is just to stay consistent right up the middle. I'm not trying to dirty up the board here. His third bag actually bounces over the hole, and when I go in for a nine, it gives me an opportunity for four points here. He's able to finish up with his last bag, going for the Airmail Dragon, missing, and talk about missed opportunities, I slide my bag off the back left. So I only get one point on the round to make it five to three, but it should have been four there. After Bree washes, we still have first bag down five to three. I start with my first one nicely up the middle and in. My opponent is able to follow me with actually just a slate block in front of the hole. I push him in and replace a little bit off to the right. He tries a sneaker on the left and kind of pushes up into him. I'm going here for a little cut push. I ended up jamming up right into the middle of the pile, which I'm totally fine with. He blocks behind 
And now I asked Bree, like, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to push up into them? Should I go short airmail? And she's telling me, well, you could shoot at the back edge of the hole here. And I said, what do you think, short airmail? She was like, I don't know, whatever you think. And I'm just like, all right, I'm just going to shoot it. I, I felt confident in shooting it, so I decided to go for it. I throw a short airmail here and actually take all four of them with the airmail drag to finish up with the four bagger. Really nice shot. And then he has a push through here which he hits really nicely for the four bagger wash. So there's a real round of cornel for you, even though it was a wash, had some good, interesting shots. The very next round, Breeze got first bag. A couple washes later, still five to three. But she starts with her first bag nicely up the middle and in. Trying to slowly find our groove here as we move through bracket game two. Her opponent misses a little bit off to the right, so opportunity for points here. She bullies it out of the way nicely, takes it out of airmail drag range. He's able to slip in his second bag around the side. Bree stays consistent without having to touch his bag. He slides in his third bag as well, and Bree is able to finish up her four bagger. Nice fast bags. He to go in to limit it to two, but actually jams up off to the side. So we get four points back and retake the lead seven to five. The very next round, I got first bag, and I start nicely up the middle and into the right side. His bags are playing a little bit stickier, so he's able to go for the block, which he does nicely. I go to just block behind, end up missing a little bit off to the right, giving him a lane to push through. But he ends up jamming a little bit off to the right. I'm trying to just block behind. I finally get a nice block behind there, forcing him to either go up for the airmail or hard push through. Goes up and knocks his front one in, but ends up bouncing off the bag. And I ask Bree, do you think I can cut push around this? And she said, you might have to click the clip the left side. And I, I just want to go for a California Kush, a cut push here. So I switch over to fast side. As you can see, this come out of my hands, got a lot of right to left angle on it. And I'm able to knock my two in, but end up hanging on the right side of the hole. He goes to slip in here and actually drags me with. So 10 on 10 wash, but another nice little push shot uh, score stays seven to five. After me and Bree both give up a couple points here and there, the score is now nine to seven, and time for me to show you guys the ugly rounds, okay? I'd ha I haven't had many of them so far in bracket, but here's one for you. He lays a block, I go for a left to right, cut around, I hit the shot nicely, throw it a little bit too hard and miss off the back. He hits a nice airmail. I go to try to cut around again, end up jamming up into the middle, and he tries to push through, ends up blocking behind it, jamming his near the hole. I go to try to clean up around the side, and just jam up into the middle score. Score is currently just five on three. Uh, he, he's asking if the hole's open. His partner's saying probably just lay on, force me to have to deal with it. Ends up going for it, actually ends up on the board. So I've asked Bree, what should I do? She's thinking either like a push or an airmail. After thinking about it a little bit, Decided to just lay up after he knocked one of mine off the back. So it ends up being a six on three round. I give up three points. We go down 12 to seven. After Breeze scores one, we're now down 12 to eight. I got first bag back. Stark with my first one slightly up the middle and in. And he tries to lay a block again, this time kicking off to the right. I'm able to capitalize, putting on the pressure, making in my second bag. He makes in his second. I'm able to keep the pressure on up the middle to, with my third bag. He follows me again. Unfortunately, I'm unable to finish, throw it a little bit too hard off the back right, but he gives it back to me off the back right, so ends up scoring two points, 10 on eight, make the game at 12 to 10. This has been the story of our day so far, though, is just giving up a couple big rounds. Bree goes off to the left with her first bag, and her opponent starts very consistently up the middle. Bree is able to follow him up the middle, now just down two after her opponent lays a nice block. Bree tries to go around it, actually piles up the middle super nicely. Her opponent takes a step out, goes for a big push here, and hits a beautiful push around. So Bree now trying to clean up the entire pile just to leave it with two, ends up throwing it off the back, pushing her bag a little bit closer, but he can go fast side again here and hits two beautiful shots in a row to pick everything up. For a 12 on seven round, giving them five points. So they take the lead 17 to 10. After I give up one and Bree washes, we're now down 18 to 10 and it's my turn to give up the big round. 
My opponent starts with his first bag blocker. I block behind nicely. It's going to turn into an airmail fight. He immediately goes up and hits backside. Adrenaline's running through me, and I throw mine deep off the back. He pounds into the front, ends up knocking his front bag in. So it's sitting six on one, but I have an open push up the board here and just miss my push off to the right. So I'm sitting on four. He slides in to uh, finish up his nine point round and I can go in here to save the game, limit it to two and I miss it off the right. So it ends up being a nine on four, give up five points and we lose the game 23 to 10. All right, game two of winner's bracket. We lost 21 to 11 or something. We were we were tied. It was a really close game. We were hanging with them. It was like 12 or it was like 10, 11 or something. We were up and then Bree gave up a seven and went to 17, 11. And then we just weren't really able to get it going. I would call it a game of missed opportunities though. The score doesn't really show where we were. Like Bree missed a chance at a five. I missed a chance off the back to get three and I only got one or I to get four and I only got one. We missed twos. I couldn't complete my four baggers. So we were definitely close. We've been throwing a lot, a lot better. Uh, you know, just just finally have like finally relaxing a little bit. So nice to get a, a, some good games. But we'll go down to losers bracket, try to make a run up there. So I'm catching you guys after game one of losers. So jumping into round two of our losers bracket game, I forgot to record the first round where I got a four bagger going up uh, 12 to eight the first round. So we start here with a 4-0 lead. Uh, Brianna starts with a nice blocker. Her opponent goes around it nicely, but this second bag is perfect, kind of jamming up in the hole. They're throwing fast side Blackwater, so basically surefire fast side. So pretty fast game here, but somehow she sneaks all three of hers around his bag nicely on the third bag. He's able to clean up, and she finishes up here for the four bagger. So guaranteed at least two. He's able to go in to limit the damage, but we start the game up six to zero. The very next round, I have first bag, and I start with my first one nicely up the middle as a blocker getting in his way he likes to just throw fast side sliding up the middle and you can see in this game too you'll see me wait after every bag because he actually reaches down and grabs his from the front of the board as i'm about to throw my shot so not a huge fan of that uh forces me to slow down but it actually worked out this game forcing me to really slow down myself and all my shots but his first bag is off the board second one goes in the hole my third bag here is able to sneak in so up currently nine to three him going into his third bag. Uh, his opponent, or his partner, is telling him something. I can't quite remember what he said, but he goes into his third bag here and throws his third one as a blocker. So I step out to go for a sneak around here with these faster bags. I end up missing it off to the left and end up throwing it off the back. So end the round with a nine, but he still has a tough push through here with his bag sitting in front. Goes for the push and is unable to push it, missing off the right side. So still a nine on five round, we get four more points and we're up 10-0. The very next round, we continue our scoring ways with Bree starting with her first bag. She's been throwing pretty well this game so far, not missing a bag, but starts with a nice little blocker, forcing him to try to push through and ends up missing off the side. It's amazing what a little blocker in front of the hole can do. She pushes through nicely. So sitting plus three, now up plus five, six to one when he misses his second bag off to the left. She stays nicely up the middle, banging her third one right in the back. He's able to finally answer one, but she finishes up her second straight four-bagger of the game. And he finishes his last two, but still goes up a 12 on seven for five more points. We're up 15 to zero. Three rounds later, we're now up 18 to zero after a couple washes and a couple single points. And I start with my first one and nicely up the middle. Uh, this is the team that we lost to in pool play, by the way, so we're shooting a lot better. Nice to get a little bit of revenge. When he misses his first bag off the back right, give me an opportunity at least for two points. I make in my second one. He follows me in. I stay just nice and consistent, you know, throwing fast bags right up the middle. Nothing too complex about it. He gives me another miss off to the right so I can go in for basically the game. I'm able to sneak in my last bag. He's got two bags off to the right, so he has to be able to grab one of these with his last one. Goes for the airmail drag instead, hits the airmail, but doesn't get the drag. So it ends up being a 12 on eight, and uh, we win the game pretty handily, 21 to zero. All right, game one of losers done. Hey, we shot pretty good, eh? We did. We, we did. finally had we a game where we both money. threw good. Yeah. Like where I don't think either of us had less than, you had a one seven round, but other than that, it was yep. like nine, 10, 12. That's yeah, all we I threw the entire game. No, no, you scored, you only got, or did you give up no, a seven? No, I didn't give up a seven. No, no, you Not only, you got a seven one round. Yeah, But you yeah, only yeah. gave up two or something. Gotcha, but I'm gotcha. saying that was your lowest, other than that, you were 12s and 10s. So, hold on, hold yep. on. so yep. we're throwing a rejects. 
we're, I think we're, it's good we stuck with one bag. Because <laughs> I think it's just we're getting used to it. And we're switching sides because Brie hates the scoreboard so much. She's just, just like, she's like, outside, inside, I don't care. I'm not doing the scoreboard. Just go down there. Just go down there. So whatever. So we're making it work. Uh, we threw really well that game. We didn't, we didn't miss that many bags. So we didn't have to do anything crazy. Really not that many air mills. Uh, just a couple here and there because it was just kind of we just slid everything in so whatever nice to get a win So we'll go to the next round of losers bracket going into the next game of losers bracket I forgot to record the first two rounds again But we start the game down seven to zero after I give up a four and Bree gives up a three My opponent starts with his first bag off to the left giving me an opportunity to score I'm able to make it in my first bag and My second one hangs up on the left side of the hole. So we're tied going into the third bag He misses his a little bit short right giving me an opportunity to step out and push I'm able to sneak around his bag and take away whole control. He goes to slide in, ends up sliding in his third one or last bag to the left. I go for a little cut around here and sneak in the side. So end up scoring a couple points there on a 10 on eight round. So we go now down seven to two. The very next round, Bree's got first bag and she starts with her first bag nicely right up the middle and her opponent actually misses his off the back right. So that won't be draggable except for an airmail. Bree's able to sneak in the left side of the hole. Her opponent's able to follow. So she's up two points going into her third bag, stays consistent nicely up the middle. And when he goes off the side, opportunity for four points here. Bree finishes up her four bagger nicely. And he actually ends up a little off to the right. So 12 on six round gives Bree a six spot and gives us a lead change now up eight to seven. After I give up a one, score is now eight to eight. They got the first bag. And uh, her opponent starts with her, his first bag nicely in the hole. They are throwing fast side pro snipers on these sticky boards. So it's basically a fast bag v fast bag game here. Bree's able to make her first one as well. Her opponent starts with his second one in. Bree stays consistent now, six bags in a row. Her opponent's able to make his third. Bree follows. And on the last bag, he actually gives it back going off the side. Opportunity for points here for Bree. She's able to finish up her four bagger again for a nice 12 on 10, take the lead back 10 on eight. After I give up a 12 on 10, scores now 10 to 10. They have first bag. And sadly, this is where we start to give up our big rounds. Her opponent starts with his first one in the hole. Bree misses her first bag in three rounds. And his opponent, her opponent's able to capitalize, making his second bag now up four points on the round after two bags. That bag dead in the heart of the center, really putting the pressure on Bree. She's able to make in her third bag and his last bag actually hangs up on the side, but then Bree slides right off the back. So it ends up being a 10 on five for five points, and now we go down 15 to 10. After me and my opponent, Wash, scores still 15 to 10. They got first bag, and her opponent stays consistent. Nice up the middle. This is the first kind of bad bag Bree's thrown in like two games, just off the left side. Her opponent quickly capitalizes by making in his second bag. Bree's able to calm it down and dial her back right up the middle. Nice recovery bag. Still sitting down three on the round. Her opponent doesn't show any signs of missing the center of the board as he finishes up his four bagger here. And Bree needs to go in to keep the game going. She sneaks in there. Gives up three points, so now we're down 18 to 10. The very next round, it's my turn to give up a round, sadly. My opponent starts with his first bag nicely up the middle and in. And I am able to answer he stays pretty consistent back off the right. I tried to sneak around the left side of it, end up catching the left edge and going off the back. He steps out to collect his. There was a really nice cut shot. His bag's still hanging on the hole, but basically in with that fast side pro sniper. I take it in for him. Now down two on the round. So still alive, I'm able to finish up my bags. He finishes up the four bagger and I must go in to extend the game. And I throw it a little bit too hard and it bounces over the hole. So I give up a 12 on eight for four points. We end up losing the game 22 to 10. All right, we just finished game two of loser's bracket. Um, did not have the juice we had in game one, let's put it that way. I don't even know how I shot, but I think our whole day in general is just missed opportunities and just dumb mistakes here and there, big rounds. It's like we can hang with people all day and all of a sudden it's just a five or a six. It's just those big rounds that you can't get away from. So I don't know how we ended up overall in tier two. It was fun though, really good experience. Fuck man, it's it's getting used to getting those nerves out. Uh, it's really important. It's it, this was like pivotal experience. Having to go up, go to my Minnesota tournaments, I was like, man, these are nothing compared to 
these events. So really, really fun. Me and Brianna had a great time. She shot super, super well. Uh, but overall, had a great time. We're going to hop on the K9 live stream, do some commentary, play some cash games, hang out with people. I'll probably make a vlog about singles tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see if I'm in the mood to uh, record a little bit more. But either way, get you guys some ACL doubles action. It was a fun time. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.